Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to day 21 of prayer. Hallelujah. Welcome to day 21 of prayer. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for your graciousness. We bless you, Father God, of your righteousness. We thank you, Father God, for who you are. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you are the first and the last, that you are the beginning and the end, that there was none before you and there shall be none after you, that you yourself have willed us to exist. And in your will, we have our being. Blessings, honor, and glory to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Blessings, honor, and glory to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We bless your holy name, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for allowing us to arise on this morning, Father God. We have made a decision to honor you and worship you in spirit and in truth. We bless your holy name, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you have called us and chosen us at this time and at this hour. We thank you, Father God, for your righteousness. We bless you, Father God. God, for you are a holy God. You are a just God. You are Adonai, our master and our redeemer. You are Jehovah Tiskanu, the God of righteousness that rains down upon us. We glorify you. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. We palal before you, Father God. We lay prostrate before you, crying out our heart at this hour, Father God, praying your word like never before. Father God, as we come before you, we ask you for, to forgive us for every sin that we've committed, known or unknown, committed through commission or omission. I command and everything that is misaligned to come into divine alignment according to your original plan and purpose. I thank you that we move as you move, that we are in tune to the symphonic and harmonious movements of the spirit. We bless you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that we can come before you, Father God, cleansed without spot or blemish because of the sacrifice that you made on Calvary. We thank you, Father God, for giving us your breath of life. We thank you, Father God, for blowing the shafar, Father God, concerning us and proclaiming your declaration over each and every one of us. We thank you, Father God. We thank you for your righteousness, hallelujah. As we come before you at this on this morning, Father God, clasp our tongue to the roof of our mouth lest we sin against you. We invoke the spirit of Yahweh to rise up upon this prayer line like never before. Consume and overtake us. Give us a rumor word that divides spirit from soul, cutting through our flesh, our bone, and our marrow. Cause a, Father God, transfiguration so that we may be more like you, Father God. He hear like you, see like you, speak like you, think like you, move like you do, Father God, for we desire to do as we see our Father do. We desire, Father God, to live uprightly before you, Father God, holy and consecrated, saturated with the blood of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that we are fully clad with the armor of the Lord and the armor of light, that we take pleasure in your kingdom and the assignment that you have set before us. Let the east winds of judgment blow into the enemy's camp. Let the north winds of abundance, the south winds of restoration and power and supernatural increase and supply grow profusely in our life. We thank you right now, Father God, for we thank you, hallelujah. We glorify you, Father God. We praise you, O Lord. We give thanks unto you, Father God, for you are good. Your love endures forever. Who can proclaim the mighty acts of the Lord or fully declare your praise? Blessed are we, Father God, because you, Father God, maintain justice in our lives who you are the one who constantly does what's right before us father god remember us oh lord when you show favor to your people come to our aid father god when you save your people that we may enjoy the prosperity of your chosen ones that we may share in the joy of your nation and join in your inheritance and in giving praise we have sinned even as our forefathers have. We have done wrong and acted wickedly. When our fathers were in Egypt, they, got, they gave no thought to your miracles. They did not even remember your many acts of kindness and they rebelled by the sea, the Red Sea, yet you saved them for your name's sake. You made, Father God, your power known to them. You rebuked the Red Sea and it dried up. You led them through the depths as through a desert. You saved them from the hand 
hand of the foe, from the hand of the enemy, you redeemed your people. The waters covered the adversaries. No one of them survived. There are only remnants left of Egypt. And we thank you, Father God, that just as you did it for our forefathers, so shall you do it for us. They Then they believed your promises. And then they sang a song of praise. Stack, but, sell, and balance, but so they untouched. Soon, but they soon forgot you. Hallelujah. They soon forgot you. They soon forgot you, Father God. In the camp, Father God, they soon forgot you and they did not wait for your counsel. In the desert, they gave in to their craving. In the wasteland, they put God to the test. So you gave them over, Father God, just as they asked but you sent a wasting disease upon them. In the camp, they grew envious of Moses and Aaron who was consecrated to the Lord. Father God, we see that still happening today. We see, Father God, our brothers and sisters being envious of us, Father God. Father God, but we thank you, Father God, that you yourself, Father God, will protect your anointed and you will allow no harm to come to your prophets. The earth opened up and swallowed Dathan. It buried the company of Abraham. Fire blazed among the followers. A flame consumed the wicked. At Horeb, they made a calf and they even worshiped an idol cast of metal. They exchanged their glory in you for an image of a bull which eats grass. They forgot about you who saved them. You are the one that has done great things in Egypt, your miracles in the land of Ham and awesome deeds by the Red Sea. So you said you would destroy them. You had had not Moses, your chosen one stood in the breach before you to keep his wrath, your wrath from destroying them. Father God, at this hour, we stand before you, Father God, beseeching you, Father God. We beseech you, Father God, to not destroy them. We beseech you, Father God, to not destroy us. We beseech you, Father God. Even our forefathers, they despised the pleasant land. They did not believe in your promise. They grumbled in their tents, Father God, and they did not obey you. So you swore to them with uplifted hand that you would make them fall in the desert. You would make their descendants fall among the nations and scatter them throughout the lands. They yoked themselves to Baal of Peor and ate sacrifices offered to lifeless gods. They provoked you, Father God, with by anger when their with anger in their wicked deeds, and a plague broke out among them. But Phineas stood up and intervened. Let us have the, Father God, the boldness of Phineas at this hour to stand up and intervene. Let us have the boldness, Father God, so that the plague that is among your people at this hour may be checked, that it may be broken, that sickness and disease and poverty may be broken off the lives of your children, Father God. Forgive us, Father God, for we know not what we do. You credited Phineas's boldness as righteousness for endless generations to come. Father God, give us that same boldness to stand up, Father God, to intervene and stand as intercessors on behalf of the body of Christ. Those that don't know no better, that are consumed by the ways of this world, by the waters of Mirabah, Father God, they angered you and trouble came to Moses because of them. They, Father God, rebelled against the spirit of God and rash words came from Moses' lips. They did not destroy the people as the Lord had commanded them. They were disobedient unto the instruction you have given unto, uh, unto them. But they mingled with the nations and adopted their customs. They worshiped their idols, which became a snare to them. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons. They shed innocent blood, the blood of their sons and daughters, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan. And the land was desecrated by their blood. They defiled themselves by what they did, by their deeds. They prostituted themselves. Father God, they know not what they do. Forgive all those who defile their Father God, who have defiled themselves by practicing the ways of this world, by being in tune to the symphonic and harmonious of this world. Break the flute of the pod piper right now and release your sons and daughters from the entrancement that this world has over them, Father God. 
You therefore, Father God, were angered against your people, just as you are angered now. You were abhorred at your inheritance, and you handed them over to the nations, and their foes ruled over them. And we see that to this day. We see that you are angered, Father God, and you have handed your children over, Father God, to the kings of this nation, to the rulers of this world. Their enemies oppress them and are subjected to them in their power. Many times you delivered us. Many times, Father God, you continually to save, to save us because of your unfailing love. Our children are in rebellion against you. Our spouses are in rebellion against you. Our government is in rebellion against you. But yet, Father God, be gracious and deliver us again. Our, your people are bent on rebellion and they wasted away in their sin. Do not let one more life, Father God, waste away from the sin of this world. But because we serve a compassionate God, a just God, a righteous God that will judge in equity, Father God, you took note of our distress. You heard their, our cry. For our sake, Father God, you remembered your covenant. And out of your great love, Father God, you relented. You pulled your anger from us. You caused, Father God, us to be pitied by all who held them captive. Save us, O Lord, our God, just like you did our forefathers. And gather us from the nations that we may give thanks to your holy name and the glory in your praise. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Let us not die at the hand of the wicked, but save us. Hear the cry of your people. Let us say all, amen, amen, amen. Praise be to the Lord our God. We give thanks unto you, O Lord, for you are good. Your love endures forever. We are your redeemed. We are the ones, Father God, that you have redeemed from the hand of our foe. You have gathered us from the lands, from the east, the west, from the north and south. Some even wandered into the desert and wastelands, finding no way to a city where they could settle. They, we, were hung, we are hungry right now and thirsty for you. Our lives are ebbed away, Father God. We cry out unto you on this hour, in our hour of trouble. You, Father God, you deliver us us from our distress. You are the one, Father God, that will lead us by a straight way to a city where they could where they could not settle. We give thanks unto you, O Lord, for your unfailing love and your wonderful deeds over us. For you, Father God, satisfy the thirsty and you fill the hunger with uh, the, our hunger with good things. Some sat in darkness and they're still sitting in darkness to this day and the deepest gloom, prisoners suffer, suffering in iron chains, for they had rebelled against the words of God and despised your counsel of the Most High. So you, Father God, subjected them to a bitter labor. They stumbled, Father God. There, was, there is no one to help them. They are crying out unto you, Father God. We are crying out and interceding on behalf of the, those that are shackled right now, Father God. Save us, Father God. Save them from their distress. You brought out, Father God, brought us out of darkness, out of the deepest gloom, and you broke away the chains. I decree and declare the chains uh, broken over us. I decree and declare that we are set free. Because your word says that who the sun sets free is free indeed. We give thanks unto you, O Lord, for your unfailing love and your wonderful deeds over us. For you break down gates of bronze and you cut through bars of iron. Some even, some of us have even become fools through our rebellious ways and suffered an affliction just because of our own stupid decisions of not trusting in you and not, Father God, keeping you in the center of our lives. Some even load all the food, all the word that you're releasing at this hour at the gate near the gates of death. But then, Father God, and even now, we cry out unto you, O Lord, in our trouble. You are the one that saves us from our distress. You are the one that has sent your word forth and healed us. You are the one that has rescued us from the grave. We give thanks unto you, O Lord, for your unfailing love and your wonderful deeds over us. We, we sacrifice a thanks offering to you. We are a living sacrifice unto you, Father God, a thanks offering, and we tell every one of your works with songs of joy and praise 
Others went out into the sea in ships, Father God. They were merchants on the mighty waters, Father God. They saw the works of the Lord. Father God, some of us have traveled from continent to continent, nation to nation, city to city, and we see your marvelous work at hand. You are the one, Father God, the beautiful God. We see the works of your hand even now, even in our distress, Father God. We see your wonderful deeds in the deep. For you are spoke, Father God, and stirred up a tempest that lifted a high wave. They We mounted up on the heavens and went down to the depths in their peril. Their courage melted away. Father God, we reeled and staggered like drunken men. We were at, at their our wit's end. We don't know what to do anymore. We've tried everything. We've done everything. We've cried out unto you, Father God, in our trouble. And you, Father God, are the one that is bringing us out of our distress. You have stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea that were crashing over us, poverty, depression, anxiety, fear, hesitation, doubt, insecurity. You have, Father God, hushed those waves. And we are glad, Father God, and that it grew calm. We thank you, Father God, for giving us a reprieve, for saving us, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you are the one that has guided us from the, uh, from the desired haven. We give thanks unto you, O Lord, for your unfailing love and your wonderful deeds for men. We exalt you, Father God, in this, in this assembly. We praise you, Father God, in the council of all elders. You are the one that turned rivers into a desert, flowing springs into thirsty ground and fruitful land into a salt waste because of our wickedness and the wickedness of our forefathers and for all those who live there. You turned the desert into pools of water again and then the parched ground into flowing springs. You brought the hungry to live and you founded a city where we could settle. And I thank you right now for searching us out and giving us a place that we could call home because we abide in you and you abide in us. You sowed our fields and planted vineyards that yielded a fruitful harvest. You blessed us and our numbers greatly increased. I thank you right now for the increasing of the body of Christ. You did not let the herds diminish, Father God. You let our storehouses continue to get filled and overflow so that we could invoke and act and live generously just as the Abrahamic blessing called us to. But then once again, Father God, because we are weak, we grow weary sometimes. Life is hard. Life happens to all of us, Father God. Then our, Father God, it, the numbers began to decrease. And once again, we are humbled. We were oppressed with calamity and sorrow. You poured contempt on even your noble people, even your elite, you poured out contempt. Those that you have anointed to sit atop the mountain, you made us wander in trackless ways. But once again, Father God, because of your compassion, because of your mercy, you lifted the needy. You lifted us out of our affliction and increased our families like flocks. We are your upright and we see the mirror, miraculous powers of your sovereignty and your providence over our lives. And we rejoice for it, Father God. But all the wicked shut their mouths against you. We are, Father God, wise. And your word says that whoever is wise will heed these things and we will consider your great love in all we do. And I decree and declare that we are considering your love in all we do. Father God, you are a gracious God. You have called us to live an abundant life. Allow us to, Father God, fulfill the calling upon our life and live the life that you have called us to live so that others may know and see that you are the true and living God. Our heart is steadfast, oh God. We will sing and make music with all our soul. We awake. We awaken and arise to proclaim your sovereignty and your providence over our children, over our grandchildren, over our spouses, over, Father God, the substance that you have given us to be stewards over. Our finances belong to you. Our households belong to you. Our land belongs to you. Father God, everything that we have belongs to you, and we will praise you, O oh Lord, among the nation. We will sing of you among the people, for great is your love, higher than the heavens, your faithfulness, Father 
Father God, reaches to the skies. Be exalted in our lives, oh God, above the heavens and let your glory be over all the earth. Save us and help us with your right hand. That Father God may be delivered at this hour. You have spoken from your sanctuary. You said in triumph, I will parcel out Shechem and measure off the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet. Judah, my scepter. Moab is my wash, wash basin. Upon Adam, I toss my sandal. Over Felicity, I shout in triumph. This is what you pro proclaimed over the tribes of Israel. And I decree and declare that we are the tribe of Israel. That you have called us. You have chosen us and we have answered. Who will bring us from, the, from this fortified city? Who will lead, a, lead us into Adam? It is not you. Is it not you? You created it. You called us. You said that you would walk us on the straight path. You have not rejected us. You have not, Father God, rejected us, and we thank you for that. We thank you that you give aid against us to, for our enemies, that you help us, Father God. With you, Father God, we will gain the victory and we will trample down our enemies. I thank you right now that we hear the sound of the bones of our enemies crushing underneath our feet as we trample on the land and tread on the head of the serpent like never before. Oh God, whom we praise, do not remain silent at this hour. You said that you would come up off your throne and rescue us in Jeremiah. Well, we invoke your word right now. Come up off your throne and rescue us for the wicked and deceitful men have opened their mouths against us they have spoken against father god with lying tongues with words of hatred they surround us they attack us without cause and in return for our friendship they accuse us father god but we are praying, men and women we pray to you like never before we are relentless in our prayer we seek your face day and night perpetually we pray for our enemies and they repay us with evil for good, for, repay us with evil for our good and hatred for our friendship. Appoint an evil man to oppose him. Let an accuser stand at his right hand when he is tried. Let him be found guilty and may his prayers condemn him. May his days be few. May another take his place of leadership. May his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. May his children be wandering beggars. May they be driven from their ruined homes. May a creditor seize all he has. May strangers plunder the fruits of his labor. May no one extend kindness to him or take pity on his fatherless children. May his descendants be cut off swiftly and suddenly. The from the next generation. May the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord. May the sin of his mother never be blotted out. May their sins always remain before you, O Lord. They have a lying tongue, a wicked tongue, that they may be cut off the memory of from this earth. For he, they never thought of doing a kindness, but bound, hounded to death the poor and the needy and the brokenhearted. They love to pronounce a curse. May it come on him. They found no pleasure in blessing. May it be far from him. They wore cursing as a garment. It entered into their body like water and into their bones like oil. May it be like a cloak wrapped around them, like a belt tied forever around them. May this be the Lord's payment to our accusers to the accusers of the brethren, to the accusers of the kingdom of God, to all those who are in opposition and those who speak evil of you, Father God. But you, O sovereign Lord, deal with us for your name's sake, out of goodness, out of your love, deliver us, for we are poor and needy. Our heart, Father God, is wounded within us. We fade away like an evening shadow. We are shaken off like a locust. Our knees give way from fasting. Our body is thin and gone. We, we are an object of scorn to our accusers. When they see us, they shake their heads. Help us, Lord God. Save us in accordance with your love. Let them know that it is your hand, that you, O oh Lord, have done it, that they may curse, but you will bless. When they attack, they will 
put to shame, but your servant, Father God, we shall rejoice. Our accusers will be clothed with disgrace and wrapped in shame as in a cloak. With our mouth, we will greatly exalt your name, O Lord. In the great throne of heaven, we will praise your name, for you are the one that stands Father God, you have called Jesus to stand at the right hand of the needy one to save our life from those that who condemn us. We thank you right now for Yeshua HaMashiach. We thank you for birthing your only begotten son and giving him over for us because you see the cycle that we are in, the same cycle of our forefathers where we cry out unto you in distress. You save us and then we forget about you and then we cry out to you and begin to distress. Father God, but you saw, you saw beyond our sinful nature. You saw beyond our acts and you saved us in spite of us. You saved us because of your unfailing love and you gave us your only begotten son. Father God, you said your son sits at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. And I thank you right now that our enemies are a footstool for our feet. Lord, you will extend your mighty scepter from Zion. You will rule in the midst of our enemies. Your troops will be willing on our day of battle, arrayed in a holy majesty. From the womb of dawn, you will receive the dew of your youth, is what you said, Father God. Will we receive the proclamation of the Lord at this hour? invoke your word over our lives you sworn and you have sworn it and will not change your mind you are a priest forever in the order of melchizedek the lord you are our right your right hand father god will crush kings on the, of this nation the king of the united states of america the king of the one world order the king of persia robo you will crush kings on the day of your wrath. You will judge the nations, heaping up the dead and crushing the rulers of this whole earth. You, Father God, will drink from a brook beside the way. Therefore, as all this is happening, we will be standing right beside you and we'll drink and lift up our heads unto you. We will drink of your living water. We will lift up the hands unto you, knowing that it is finished that your proclamation is invoked and it is active in our lives. We bless your holy name, Father God. We thank you, hallelujah, for your graciousness. We thank you that the rebellion of our youth shall not stand. We thank you that the rebellion of these nations shall not stand, but it shall perish and you will save us and deliver us that you will cause us to stand atop the mountain to proclaim the glory and the miraculous deeds of you. We uphold your statutes. We bless you, Father God. We thank you for saving us. We thank you, Father God. We glorify you, hallelujah. We bless you, hallelujah. In Jesus' holy, holy name we pray. In Jesus' holy, holy name we pray. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If you receive the decree of the Lord over your life right now, type an amen in the chat. Type an amen in the chat. Hallelujah. Type an amen in the chat. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If nothing else, God wants us to know that it doesn't matter what we've done in our past. Stop allowing the enemy, the world, your friends, your neighbors, your family members to remind you of the things of old. God said, do not look back unless directed by me to do so. I need you to keep your eye on the prize. I need you to continue to press forward. I don't care what you did a minute ago. I don't care what you did an hour ago. Just keep your heart perpetually presented before me as a living sacrifice in a perpetual state of repentance and gratitude and trust and know that my word shall be made whole in your life. My word shall be made whole in your life. Your children will live. Your spouses will live. Your legacy will live. Your generations will live. Your business will live. You will live to proclaim the holiness and the glory of God. Say 
sei lá. I need you to remember that he is Jehovah Tiskanu, the God of righteousness that knows the need before it arises. He's already answered. You just have to thank him for that answer in advance. I decree and declare that the word that was released in this hour is sealed with the blood of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that this word, I this word, I propel it into the realm of the spirit for other intercessors to pick it up, to reinforce the declarations and the invocation of your word over the life of your sons and your daughters, over the body of Christ. In Jesus' holy name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Don't be distracted. Type in the chat, I won't be distracted. I won't be distracted. Don't be distracted by your past. Don't be distracted. You, I say, type it, I won't be distracted. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. We bless you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. Holy. We serve a holy God, a just God. If he did it for our forefathers, how much greater will he do for us? If he did it for our forefathers, how much greater will he do for us? How much greater will he do for us? I'm going to type in the chat. Um, we're in the process of uploading all of these recordings onto our YouTube channel so you can rewatch and listen to them, share them with someone else. If you could follow the YouTube channel and just share it with everyone, um, it would be such a blessing. We wanna make sure that everyone has an opportunity to hear the word of the Lord that everyone has an opportunity to hear the word of the Lord. And I just pray that they receive it in spirit and in truth. I appreciate each and every one of you all. We made it to day 21. We are almost there y'all. And I am excited. I don't know why I feel like I'm about to cry. I am so excited about what God is doing because he is, he is changing lives. He is changing lives that I know for some of us, 2022 was tumultuous, and that is to say the least. But I need you to know it ain't going in that way. I need you to know it ain't going in that way. I need you to know you still going to end up on top. I need you to know that it's not dead, but it's alive and thriving. I need you to know that 2022 was not a waste. It was just a foundation because anything, every time God gives you a word, a vision to bring the manifestation, I need you to know that if your vision doesn't come with some, advers uh, some adversity, it ain't of God. Everything that God gives you, you know you're going to have to push through some things. But I need you to know that you're literally pushing through for something that is already done. It is already done. I pray y'all have a prosperous and blessed day and I will see y'all tomorrow, same time, same place. Be blessed everyone.